the question. Uh, they combined the prayer, the Isha, sorry, Maghrib and Isha, because it's too cold. It's only four degrees. For them, it's too cold. Where is this? It was uh, in uh, in Washington D.C. The brothers asking the question is coming from Washington D.C. They said they. Um, he's asking, he says they combine the prayer, Maghrib and Isha, because it's very cold. And very cold is actually, they say it's four degrees. I don't think four degrees is very cold for Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C., they get storms just like we do up in here in Toronto. Maybe not as bad, but four degrees is not um, historical for them. You know, it's, it's normal. It's colder there. Yeah, I guess it's normal to have minus temperatures in winter. Everybody's different, though, right? No, it doesn't. It doesn't depend on who's different. We're talking about the place. Mm. You're talking about the place. Four degrees for Washington D.C. is not temperature to join Salah, and the 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 topic of actually joining the prayer because of cold, because of cold, is a whole discussion in between the scholars cold we're not talking about rain because the hadith are talking about rain oh you understand they're talking about rain you join the salah if there's rain you know cold just bare cold there's a lot of discussion to that you know and i myself i um, i don't i don't have an answer even for myself if it's too cold i wouldn't give that decision to join salah because I don't know where the correct position is, you know. It's because joining Salah is a matter which affects a whole congregation. So I don't think that that action is correct. If you join Salah, if you're sick, you cannot pray at both times, you're very sick, that is fine. You join Salah, you know, in the masjid because of rain. It is difficult for people to come and to go Maghrib and then to come for Isha. That is fine. But called Allahu A'lam. Yes. Why don't they just go inside somewhere? Huh? Why don't they just go inside somewhere? What do, what do you mean inside? Because why are they saying it's too cold? They can go inside anywhere, right? No, no, no. They're saying it's cold so that they pray Maghrib and Isha. So they don't have to come back for Isha. That is what they're asking for. Just like if it's raining. Allahu A'lam. If it was me, I wouldn't do that. If it was me, and that has happened here in Toronto, even I remember last winter, this question came a few times because we had some days which were like minus 20 or something. And we had, we had this discussion with other people who have knowledge and I don't have an, I, I, don't, I couldn't say that. That is my answer. Allahu A'lam, Allah knows best. Maybe someone else who has more knowledge will give you another answer. Does the snowstorm like the blizzard fall into the category of rain? Does the snowstorm or blizzard fall into the same ruling as rain? Yes. A snowstorm, a blizzard, hail, it falls into the same ruling as rain. So if it's snowing a lot and it's difficult for people to come for Maghrib and then go home and then come for Isha again and go home, then once they just come for Maghrib, you pray Maghrib and you pray Isha and they go home. So they just pray Maghrib and Isha at the masjid. Whether it is rain, which makes it difficult to come and go, or it is snow. But if you're praying at home, you don't join at home. This ruling uh, is a concession. This religion is easy. Allah made it easy so that you don't have to come in difficult, go back in difficult, come back for Isha in difficult, go back. No. Allah said just come for Maghrib, uh, you join and you go. And you pray your Maghrib Isha. But if you never came for Maghrib the first place, you pray your Maghrib at home, you don't say, oh, it's raining a lot outside, so I'm going to join Maghrib and Isha at home. No, no. You pray Maghrib one time and you pray Isha one time. And the Sunnah, the Sunnah when that happens, when there's a lot of rain or snow, when the Mu'addin calls the Adhan, yeah, he's supposed to say, Sallu fi rihabiku. Pray wherever you are. Pray in your, in your, in your place of residence. Pray in your place of residence. We have an excuse today not to come to congregation or jama'ah. Naam. So, 